few months ago I tested this. This is Ansel VD500 designed for um, uh, Volkswagen Audi set and Skoda cars. And today, today I have this VD700, which is the upgraded version, the next generation device. The screen is bigger and the package claims that it will perform a lot of service features like throttle body adaptation, parking brake release, DPF regeneration and and many many other um, special functions. So let's check what what's in the box and let's take it to the Volkswagen car to see how it works. Short user manual illustrated English only. Micro USB cable for updates, I believe. And about one meter of OBD2 cable. No batteries, silicon case. The display, as can you see, is much bigger than the previous device. And uh, I believe it's going to be a color LCD. So let's take it to car. Device connected to Golf Mark 7 and it uh, already turns uh, itself on and as can you see we have this dark theme you can change the skin skin style over here so we have something bright this is great in the high um, high light condition and at the night you can use this it will not uh, not dazzle your your eyes so it supports OBD standard and special Volkswagen functions. So let's go over here or maybe turn off the beep. Okay, let's go to Volkswagen. And we have four options over here. We can uh, make a full vehicle scan. We can uh, select system that we want to scan. We have some special special functions for uh, Crafter LT3 vehicles. And we have just some special functions that we want to simply perform in the car. So let's start over here. And we have service reset, throttle learning. All those functions that I showed you on the box are here, uh, including battery registration. So those uh, eight, yes, eight special functions are just quickly accessible over here, and uh, I believe it will it will guide you through the process uh, just by clicking OK and performing the procedures that are visible on the screen, like turn the ignition off, turn the ignition on, and um, turn the engine on, and etc. etc. It will guide you through those uh, special functions. But let's go to uh, system selection and let's say I want to connect with instrument cluster, which I know is number 17. So let's go to number 17 dashboard. Yeah, let's connect with it. Communication, please wait. Okay, so let's read version information just to confirm that I am connected with the car. I am, okay. Now let's check, uh, let's check adaptations. Okay, so I have only 17 adaptation channels over here and all those are related to the oil inspection or service inspection. There are no, no more options. Let's go back. I can read fault codes and if there, if there were some, I could erase them. And I cannot see coding over here. I cannot change coding of this module, which is shame because with coding you would be able to uh, to um, activate features like needle sweep or lap timer. But unfortunately, I don't see coding over here. But let's check some other thing. Uh, maybe the navigation, which is 5F. So let's scroll down all the way to 5F. And this list contain all the modules that are available, not only in this car, but in general in all, all Volkswagen cars. 5F control unit. Okay. When it connects, it re resets to the default settings, so the volume goes up. And over here also I have the read and erase codes, version information and no adaptation. Even the adaptation is gone over here, but I can read and erase codes. And there are no codes in this car. But let's check uh, something else. A few days ago I enabled the um, uh, 
road sign recognition system and in the A5 system, the front camera, I should get a fault. So let's check it. Yes, I can see the fault, predictive road data signal error and so let's try to erase the fault and let's check if that works. Erase the code. Are you sure? Yes. Erase the fault code. Please wait 10 seconds to turn the ignition off and switch on again. Read fault codes to verify. Okay, so let's let's do it. And there are no faults. So I believe it works. Now let's try the vehicle scan. So let's go over here. It connects with the car and get the list of all, all components in the car. We can select manually which one we are interested in, but I want to make a full system scan. So let's go over here. And okay, one by one, each module is, is asked about the uh, fault codes. And as you can see, we have the transmission control unit in red with one on the right side, which I believe means that there is one code pending in the uh, gearbox control unit. So when this scan is complete, I can go to the transmission, um, transmission control unit and check what's the uh, fault, if I can erase it or if uh, I should to replace some element in the gearbox. Okay, scan is completed. As you can see, everything except the uh, except the transmission control is okay. So let's go over here. Let's uh, read fault codes. Start a reuse from the selector lever sensor system. Okay, and I can clear the code and perform this uh, scan again. In few days to check to check if it's back again if it's something that I should worry about or is it just a, a casual fault let's go to the data stream section and let's see what uh, we can check about the um, uh, gearbox so we can check the fluid temperature let's uh, let's see that and it's minus 11 degrees. <laughs> I don't think that's accurate. Okay, so as can you see in Volkswagen, we can connect with all the modules, read and clear the codes. And in some modules, we can even change the adaptation values. Uh, sadly, there's no access to change coding, but um, that's okay. This uh, this device is not designed to do so because when you're changing coding, you can mess up your car really badly. And this device is designed to help you out with most common uh, service procedures like the parking brake release and oil service and uh, battery registration and so on and so on. And so this device will not give you access to coding uh, just to make sure that you will not. Um, you will not damage the car. So we have the um, uh, Volkswagen um, features covered. Let's check the standard OBD, but uh, let's do it in a different car. Maybe let's go to BMW. And now we are in BMW X1 E84. Of course, the Volkswagen features will not work over here. We can only use the standard OBD2 uh, features. So let's uh, go over here and let's check if it will connect with the car. Okay, it's connected. So we can read engine codes from the ECU. No faults. Okay. We can check um, readiness monitor. Let's go over here. Okay. Okay. Let's go back. And let's check some uh, live data. Oh, maybe the vehicle information. Let's, let's see what's uh, visible over here. There's a vehicle VIN number, calibration, calibration ID, verification numbers, standard, standard OBD2 features, all work uh, correctly. So now data stream, let's check what we can select and how the data stream looks. So maybe let's check the intake pressure, RPMs and engine coolant. We have only a text data stream, there's no chart, there's no graph uh, for it, so uh, you would have to analyze it like this in text mode. 
check the refresh rate when I um, accelerate a little bit. And that's about two or three times a second, which is not bad. Let's check if it, if it will be faster if I select only uh, only one parameter. It's a little bit faster. Four, maybe five hertz. Okay, so uh, this is a very nice device, I have to say. It will allow you to do some uh, advanced uh, service procedures in Volkswagen cars. There's standard OBD feature over here. Sadly, as I said, there's no coding uh, uh, possibility over here. And the adaptation channels are also limited to standard maintenance features like oil uh, service and uh, general inspection. And oh, you always ask what are the language languages supported and there are 10 over here, English, Deutsch, uh, France, Francais, Francais, Espanol, it, that, this will be Ruski, Portuguese, Samolian, oh, no, no Polish language, sadly, no Polish language. Okay, that's it, if you want to learn more, check the description below this video, there's a little bit more detailed uh, technical specification over there, also uh, online store link if you want to buy one of those devices and, uh, and uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this simple review, subscribe for my future videos and see you soon.